Hi everybody, welcome back to another technical demo around the Quarkus application. My name is Daniel O. Today I'm going to showcase how Quarkus Dev services specifically Quarkus 2.1 for Kafka Broker, which allows developers to start Kafka cluster on your local machine without any configuration, but it will be started automatically uh, on your application development. Let's get started. Here is our sample application for this demo today. So we're going to create two different applications. The first one is the pod producer uh, will uh, let user request some calls of the HTTP endpoint. For each uh, call request a random identifier is generated, but also return to user uh, to mark the call request as pending. At a time, the generated request ID is sent over Kafka topic, the call request. But the other application, the quad processor, will read from the quad request topic from Kafka cluster and then put the random process to the quad and they're sending it to the Kafka topic, which is named the quad topic. And the last thing is in this uh, application, the processor also will read the quad and send them the browser using the server sent event. And the users will uh, See the quote price updated from uh, pending status to the received actual price in the real time. We're gonna uh, delay it like a two second to react to the processing. All right, let's get right into the demo how it works. Okay, so we're gonna create a two different project for processor and processor implementation. Let's try to create the first processor project first, and then we're gonna define the quote which contain ID and price. And also, we're going to uh, create the default constructor for uh, Jackson serialization. And then we have another constructor like uh, with the IDN prices uh, argument here. So we're going to use actually this same Java class in the both project, like a project and processor and processor. And we're going to configure JSON serialization for messaging use, using Jackson. So Obviously, we will see use of the object mapper serializer to serialize object by Jackson. But for corresponding to this serializer class, we have to create the subclass of object mapping this serializer just like this one. Now we're going to create a quad resource to send quad request. So first of all, uh, we're gonna use channel annotation to use quad request. And also, uh, which actually uh, allows us to inject the reactive messaging emitter to send the message to quad request request channel. And then here is your we uh, needed to define a new uh, public method uh, to generate the random UUID, the unique ID, and send it to the Kafka topic using the emitter. To do that, we have to uh, add annotation and like a pulse and a path and a producer to. Uh, generate the plain text and just Java UT UUID and then just using quad emitter to send this UUID. It's so pretty simple. Okay, and in a demo example, actually, projects have a two different role. One is generate the UUID and sending it to Kafka topic, but also uh, you can also you can have uh, the messaging from uh, the quad channel and then send it back to the your end user using the server sent event uh, media type. Uh, to implement, we're gonna use a channel annotation using uh, multi uh, reactive streaming, uh, but also we need to define a new Java method here that can return the quad multi stream and also uh, just uh, put in the, the logs here, pretty simple. The last thing is we have to uh, put in the, some micro profile messaging incoming and outgoing connector configuration here. So we actually using small right Kafka connector for incoming, but also outgoing uh, messaging configuration here. The same small right Kafka, and then the channel name, the quad request, and the quad we actually define on your application. So here's the most important thing to use dev services to run the Kafka server automatically. So to do that, we have to use the latest Quarkus version 2.1 or a later one. And also, you can find the uh, small line React messaging Kafka extension already there. Uh, this is only too mandatory to use dev services for Kafka provider. Okay, so we just done in 
project sub project. Let's move on to process project. And then first of all, we're going to use the same the core double bean, which means we just copy from project sub project. We don't need to uh, implement uh, separately, just copy the, uh, the logic here and the paste in here. So next thing is, so we're going to create a quad processor Java bean, which allows to consume data from the quad request Kafka topic, and which actually map the request channel and then giving out the random quad and the, the result to push it to the quad Kafka topic. Okay, let's try to implement this one. The first one, oh, we're going to create some random uh, because we're going to uh, create the random prices here in a process Java bean. And then we actually use incoming outgoing channel uh, because this Java class uh, to uh, have the messaging from the cache channel and outgoing call channel. This is really a fantastic feature on Orcus because you can set it up incoming outgoing in the same class in the same method. And one more thing, uh, we're going to process this uh, messaging as a blocking because this cannot be run in the caller thread. So define the exception throw here and then just uh, create a thread uh, like uh, just every two seconds and then the return the quad, uh, the object based on the quad request and the random price number in the like 100 or something like that. All right. Looks good. And then the, we have to also configuration uh, for incoming and outgoing messaging on your purpose application, the same connector, the small right Kafka. And then the topic name is a quality cast, which already is, which is the same name on your channel, qualifier. And also here is the outgoing connector, the same, the small right Kafka. And also we have to, uh, the object map of serializer for Jackson serialization we already uh, defined in a uh, producer project. So uh, this is a pretty simple, the channel name segment must match to value set in the incoming outgoing annotation. So once again, this project also based on Quarkus 2.1, the race one, and we also using the messaging Kafka extension for using Kafka, uh, the container as default dev services. Okay. So when you go to uh, producer and there are uh, uh, HTML for presentation layer, I already implement this one. And then you can find some uh, JavaScript here. When you click on uh, request quad button on your web UI, it automatically uh, request, uh, request quad uh, and point. And also there are event sourcing uh, to process the server sent messaging from your Quarkus server application. Okay, let's try to run this application using Quarkus CLI for dev mode. And then when you run the Quarkus demo, you can find uh, the Kafka container automatically start up uh, based on dev service capability. As you can see, here is a creating container image. Uh, let's go up once again, uh, try to find the right row here. Okay, here we go. So creating container for image, uh, we actually use the red panda uh, the container image, you can actually define specific uh, Kafka image for your dev service as well. And then the second project, we're going to create, we're going to uh, run dev mode once again. So when you go to uh, container dashboard, you can find the test container automatically start up. And there are uh, the Kafka container also start up automatically. So you don't need to run the Kafka server container or installation standalone server manually because the dev service will care about your Kafka thing. So let's try to uh, access the HTML file in the presentation. When you click on the request code, you can have a new uh, UUID and then the first step in the status appending and then after two seconds, you got the right prices. When you go to uh, the Quarkus dev mode, you can find the relevant load. So here's your request to create. Today we learned about how to use dev service for Kafka provider, which means the developer don't need to uh, start or install the Kafka standalone server or container image on your local machine when you develop the reactive messaging program on Quarkus. Because the Quarkus race version support uh, test container uh, for dev services automatically, really awesome for developer to start up and, and it will be stop it when you stop your dev mode automatically. Thanks for watching. Have a good rest of the day.